Greetings. Today we are demonstrating the experience of Sava Social Learning from the instructor and the student's perspective. As an instructor, I'm made confident about watching my students progress through the path of their certifications, their courses, and their curriculums because their progress is backed by the formal structure of Sava Learning. I have additional confidence in having my students achieve their objectives because they have been dynamically added to their social learning experience, their class or group. In this particular place, as an instructor, video playback has been added to a path. And when added to the path, it has been broadcast to the students. When broadcast to the students, it is sent to their inbox. Here you can see inside of my student inbox, and as a student, I've received a notification from my instructor that I can link to the latest information that's part of my social learning experience. Inside my social learning experience, I see that I'm part of the general manager certification community. Inside the general manager certification community, I see that my instructor, Chuck Olasky, has also recently added a safety video presentation to the general manager community. This safety video presentation is what was broadcast to me, and I can see as part of my social learning experience that I can quickly take action on that. I can click on the safety video presentation and launch it. It turns out that Chuck has added this video from YouTube, so it launches in its native environment of YouTube. I can watch it and proceed back to uh, my community. From within my community, I also have access to other members, so I can see my classmates. I can see my classmates, and I can see their profiles. Here I've clicked on my classmate, Michael. I know that Michael was a member of my team when we developed our group project, and I can leave an impression on Michael, thinking that he's exceptional and thanking him for his help. And then I can share my impression with my group. In addition to having access to my classmates, I also can ask them questions in case they need an answer to any open and open items. I can do that by chatting with them. If I don't want to, or if I can't find them online, or they're unavailable via a chat, I also can ask questions to my classmates via discussion forums. And inside of a discussion forum, I can ask things like, can I resubmit my final project? And from there, if neither my instructor know my classmates get back to me, I can also ask the community at large or seek assistance from the community at large. I can seek some uh, assistance from the community at large by searching for people who have had similar experiences or have skills or have experience with uh, the same things that I might be interested in studying. So we're clearly doing a safety group discussion and exercise right now inside of Chuck's class. So I might want to search the network for somebody who has experience with safety or safety exercise. So if they're an alumni of this class, they might show up in my search. In my search, I see that Dominique Jossi has shown up in my search, and I could contact him as a mentor. In addition, if I uh, have an interest in um, setting up time to discuss my questions with my instructor, Chuck Alasky, I could also review if there's some upcoming office hours. The office hours are for November 5th, and of course, I could enlist and attend those office hours. Those virtual office hours are a great opportunity for me to connect with my instructor, no matter where he is in the world, and no matter where I am in the world. At the end of the day, I know that I can succeed on my certification path because my instructor has set up for me inside of my certification experience a social learning experience where I have access to my classmates, I have access to him and his office hours, and I have a place to submit my final project and my work efforts. In this case, I submitted my final project for my team, and we're good to go. From the instructor's perspective, the instructor can not only see um, what I'm doing, but he can see the path of all of his students' progress through their certification. The instructor can also see which modules they accessed and in what volume, how many times, and so forth. Furthermore, the instructor can see at a 
broader level, how progress across multiple different certifications that instructor might be teaching are proceeding, and how any one particular certification pathway stack ranks against the progress of other certification classes the instructor might be teaching. So as a review, today we've talked about top of social learning, and there's some key takeaways. Enrollment in a certification curriculum or course enrolls students in their community group. This social learning environment allows students to chat with classmates and view their profiles and interact with classmates. Some of social learning allows students to ask questions to classmates instructors and or the community at large. Some of social learning lets classmates submit work together or as individuals. It, let them, it, it lets them submit work to the group or to the community at large. Students can contribute student-generated content, key pieces of information that even improve the instructor's offering going forward. Students can view media of all different types, including video from YouTube. Instructors can publish virtual office hours that allow students and instructors to connect no matter where they are in the world. Plus, there's expertise research, where if I don't get an answer from my instructor, but don't get an answer from my classmates, I can seek across the expertise of the larger community for alumni and mentors who can help me succeed in my learning. I hope you enjoyed the demo and appreciate your time.